Hello guys, in this video I'm going to be reviewing uh, the uh, game, the, one of the hottest game out there right now for the app, from the App Store for iPhone or iPod Touch, Brothers in Arms 2 Global Front Game Love, by Game Love, I'm sorry. This uh, game is actually $7.99, uh, it's a really good game, uh, really good graphics, if you're into like the kind of like the ward, those kind of games here, the screenshots from the game and let's go ahead and hit over the game and I can show you you know the actual gameplay let me get out from here there we go and then when, uh, whenever you start the game you're always gonna have the intro which uh, you can also just touch your screen to skip that intro if you want There's the intro. Like Back I said, you can just touch the I screen and then hit things. skip. There we go. It has really, really good sound for being a, a, such a small game here. Here we go. Touch the screen. I'm going to hit continue. Uh, you have campaign mode, multiplayer mode, through Wi Fi connection. You got your options here, reset progress, sound, control, uh, game settings, visual, all that good stuff. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and get over to the game. There we go, it's loading right now. I'm just gonna show you the basic, you know, uh, buttons here that you need to uh, know uh, in order to get through the game. August 21st, 1942. Dear Eric, enjoying North Africa? The food is not quite like mom's, is it? The Japanese took a beach near Alligator Creek last night. We have to get it back. We just never stop fighting. Time for us to pack up. Be safe. David. Just touch the screen, guys. You guys don't have to wait there forever. So right now I was already playing the game, uh, as you can see, but uh, pretty much how you play with this game is, what you do is you follow this green right here, this right here, these green uh, uh, lights, and then you move your, you move your, or aim yourself, touching the screen right there. Uh, you can shoot with this button right here, this one right here. And then with this one you actually run. This right here, the one in the corner, you can actually zoom. As you can see, I just zoom. Okay, and if you wanna throw a grenade, let's say you wanna throw a grenade, you can just the grenade buttons right here. You throw a grenade, and I just throw a grenade there. Pretty cool graphics for showing you the uh, actual effects there. Now, let's say, Let's say you want to reload, but you should just press right here. Or the button you have, and then it will reload for you. So now let's go over the game. And then there's uh, your friend there that's always with you and pretty much guiding you throughout the game where to shoot, where to go, and that kind of stuff. And there we go, we're gonna hit over some action right now. Get yourself killed! Oh, 
So yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I just wanted to show you, um, you know, just pretty much the buttons here that you have to get around the game. And yeah, that's pretty much the basic that you need to know start playing. This game compared to, uh, to the Nazi zombies from Call of Duty, it's a little bit slower. Like it runs a little bit slower. I guess you need a graphics or something. But um, overall, the game has you know, a really good uh, function here, a really good uh, graphics and sound. So, you know, throw the next to these guys.